Hello! In this video I'm gonna tell you about uh, a Jin Hao because it's probably how you should read it in Chinese. Uh, I used to read Yin Hao in previous videos but I watched, I've watched uh, other videos, uh, reviews of uh, Jin Hao pens and, and apparently it's called Jin Hao. So this is Jin Hao 101 which uh, I've had for like several years now because I got it first in 2018 but I saw online that they were selling it around 2013 already so this is Jinhao 101 and uh, to start off uh, I'd like to mention the little diamond here originally they sell it only with a uh, white little diamond. It's not a real diamond, it's like something uh, like a glittering uh, acrylic acrylic uh, gem, but uh, it was white. I replaced it with a red one because I, I happened, it happened that I had one and it uh, I think it looks uh, more passionate with uh, con considering uh, the, the color match with uh, uh, black and red. So it's all metal pen and it uh, it came originally with an iridium nib which um, was okay. Uh, it was an F size of the nib and um, but it happened that I had another pen which needed needed the same kind of knee the same kind of nib so I took it off I put it into another pen and this pen got a nib from a Bauer fountain pen which is a different brand obviously but it matched so uh, we're talking about a pen with a replacement right now but originally you're gonna get an F size nib. This one is EF after the replacement. So it's all metal but it's very light. It's around 23 grams and um, what I uh, disliked about this pen is the section part which sometimes uh, when you write it unscrews which is very irritating and no matter how strongly I try to screw it, it unfortunately it opens up somehow. Uh, the section, uh, the section, the grip is, it has some marks here, which apparently should allow it to hold it better, but it doesn't help really much. Uh, and this uh, kind of a stopper here also doesn't stop the fingers from slipping down, so. Uh, well, it looks okay, but for writing is somewhat uh, problematic, could be. Um, so let's see at the cap. The cap, like I, uh, like I showed you before, it has a little diamond here. The top is all black. The, uh, the clip is very strong, very sturdy. The bottom is silver and uh, this is a little mark here because the, the paint already uh, fell uh, off or away. I don't know how to say that because English is not my first language but you see that scratch. This is a scratch. So um, the, the gravious section, the section is metal as well but it's very light. Inside we have a standard uh, it used to be a standard converter, but I replaced it also with something probably which comes from either a Duke or it's from Duke. Yeah, the converter is from a Duke fountain pen, Duke uh, 209 as far as I remember. But normally it comes with a regular converter and it also fits uh, ink cartridges. Uh, but they have to be the whole of the converter and the cartridge they have to be 2.6 millimeters the 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 not the wide, wider uh, wider kind so that's 
the inside. It's silver inside as well. And to give you a sample writing, however, we I, I recall that we're talking about a different nib right now because it used to be an F nib. This one is uh, EF. But if you want to watch it, well, you're welcome. So this is, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. After the nib replacement, it may not flow so smoothly. The ink may not, not flow so smoothly. So I need to adjust it a little bit. Let's see what happens here. So this is Jin Hao 101. Uh, originally, original nib was F, okay, iridium. But this one, this one comes from, and I need to do it again. Well. Probably wasn't a good idea to replace it with this one. From Bao Air, Bao Air uh, fountain pen. Can't remember the number, but it was a black and silver one. They they have produced many many pens like this. So I can't remember the number, but and this one is EF. So we're going to test a completely different nib from a completely different pen, but you have an idea how the pen looks overall, the Jin Hao pen looks overall. So the Bauer nib <laughs> is very smooth and it really is recommended to have it. The Jin Hao was similar. I remember that it was, it gave me a good writing. Uh, for quite some time and it's it's okay and I uh, I still have the the nib from the the Jin Hao pen because I put it into another pen which uh, which uh, where where I damaged uh, the nib completely and I will, I'm gonna review that pen a little bit later obviously the question is why I sh why I haven't uh, saved uh, that other nib the original nib in this pen for the review purposes but well that's how I am. So anyway, um, this is the writing. The reverse writing is also smooth when it comes to this Bauer EF nib in the <laughs> in Jin Hao 101 pen. But like I said, the the section after a long time of writing, it can unscrew, which, which is for me it's very irritating. I guess for you will be as well. Um, and let's see, the capped pen also feels light. It doesn't really um, make any problem. Makes it doesn't ma make any problem in writing. So, what to tell you more about this? I'm using the ink. The ink inside. The ink. Ink is hero black. A regular regular inexpensive Chinese um, ink which has been um, on the the market market since I believe uh, the 70s or the 80s at least here in Poland where I live because I remember I used to have it. It's inexpensive and it's a comparable. I I would say it's even better than Pelican pens, Pelican uh, inks. So um, yeah, it's really good for writing, for drawing, because it's light. Doesn't really make your um, hand somewhat uh, tired, and uh, it could be considered as a pen for 
women, however, I'm far from uh, making any selection based on genders uh, because we all like what we like. Uh, but it's very smooth, I mean, thin and smooth. It's a uh, black, uh, polished uh, black color, um, glossy uh, probably. And uh, yeah, it, it's a really cool pen. I saw it again on AliExpress because, like I said, I bought it in 2018. And it's still out there. And it, it was inexpensive. When I paid for this in 2018, it was something around 4 or $5 after the currency conversion from a Polish zloty into American dollars. So it's like all those Jinhao pens out there. They are, the, the budget pens are really inexpensive. We also can get more expensive like dragon pants from Jin Hao, which are in the year of the dragon, they may be even more expensive, I believe. So anyway, this is the pen. Thank you for watching and I hope you find it useful. Cheers.